The first aim of a good college is not to teach books, but the meaning and purpose of life. Hard study and the learning of books are only a means to this end. I can mean that. We develop power, courage, and determination, and we go out to achieve truth, wisdom, and justice. If we do not come to this, the cost of schooling is wasted. Since 1873, the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff has been shaping the minds that continue to reshape the world. We are a family of educators and learners, and our tightly knit community fosters the intellectual and social development of a diverse student body, preparing them to be competitive in a global economy. UAPB is innovative and relevant. We are business titans, community leaders, life-saving physicians, groundbreaking scientists, record-breaking athletes, and visionary CEOs. We are dynamic, creative, and cutting edge. We are the pride. We're United Lions. We're the Golden Lion Nation. If one person does something, we're all behind that one person. If one person falls, we're going to pick that person up. We are a university that's been present in the community in this area for more than 143 years. I think what finally sold me was um, seeing graduates who are now doctors. University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, formerly Amity College, has a tremendous history of uh, people who have achieved great things. A lot of people don't realize that we have some incredible scientists to come to the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Uh, one of the greatest chemists, Samuel Massey, he was involved in the Manhattan Project. There also was Samuel Coons, who was a biology major there, who went on to develop the research that led to transplantation of kidneys. You know, usually the videos, you always wonder, do these people really go to the school? Is this like a fake recruitment video? And then as we started walking, um, one of the recruiters, he literally knew everyone's name. He'll stop and be like, oh, this is so-and-so, a biology major. This is like a family, like for you to know a student, like several students, not just one, but several. And it kept occurring. That really like made me appreciate I'm not a number at the school. I'm somebody that matters. You think about the world in general, everything is either grown or manufactured. What our jobs really do is they fit into any type of industry that you would think of. So it's one of the most diversified degrees that you would have on the campus. We had 100% placement of all our students in their field. And I think that's really important that people understand that when they get employed out of this major, they're going into their actual field of study. For me, I knew I wanted to go into engineering. I knew that I wanted to build something. But I later found out that I couldn't just go out and just build something. Career readiness is, is a hot topic. The first year that they're on the campus, the decisions that they make uh, can have an impact on their career decisions as well as their academics. The problem with graduation is I'm not going to have zero offers is that I'm going to have too many. I'm going to have to pick and choose where I want to go, which one's going to suit me and the type of location I want to be in. The Office of Career Services is the most important office on this campus. At our most recent career fair, we had 181 representatives from business, government, school districts, and professional schools. At University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, we have a great immersive 3D laboratory They're called the Lion K. Uh, in the Lion K, we do visualization research. Um, we work with students who are STEM majors who are interested in engineering. We also do outreach to K-12 teachers and completing research on how students learn as well as how teachers teach. We are a part of this community. We're doing more than just educating on the campus, but our outreach is reaching people throughout the Arkansas Delta and across the state of Arkansas. UAPB has one of the top aquaculture and fisheries programs in the United States. Uh, it's partly because this is an excellent place to address research needs of the commercial aquaculture industry. These professors are researchers so well known in the world, actually. Um, back home, when I was in India, um, I already knew about this research. About 10 years ago or so, we started getting a lot of competition from foreign imports. I choose aquaculture because the place where I grew, um, it's a well-known for aquaculture production in India. 
And if you're not raising a high value species, it's very hard to maintain your competitive edge. It's hard to make a profit, but what we can compete on is technology and information transmission. So a lot of people come here from other countries just to learn more about the technology. I have decided to choose the university where I can work and matches my interests. So I choose the UAPB is the best uh, schools offering architecture in the United States. We need to get the word out more. We need to spread the word of the facilities that we have here, the research, researchers that we have here. And um, at least 50% of our faculty have international experience as well. So, you know, we're poised to make a big impact locally, nationally, and also internationally. Any career that a person chooses, it should like reflect them and who they are as a person. With nursing, you can choose so many different career paths. If you're interested in children, you can be a pediatrics nurse, or if you're interested in the elderly, you can be a geriatrics nurse. Well, when I came here for the tour of UAPB, they were telling me about a Lions program that you can do in the summer. The Lions program is a five week residential program for new freshmen, new first time, full time freshmen coming to UAPB. At the end of the five weeks, those students have now made a successful residential experience at UAPB. The Lions students are graduating both in five years and in six years at almost twice the rate of the students who do not participate. It was really fun, but on top of that, uh, we did have to go to class, so they were very focused on keeping yourself on the right path and just remaining focused on what you're here to do. The Student Success Center was created to provide students um, a place to go as a one-stop shop for assistance in tutoring, um, assistance with financial balances, book scholarships. We also do the retention within the Student Success Center. Many students are not quite sure where they need to get help from, and if they know that the Student Success Center is there and the programs that are provided by the Student Success Center, they know they can go there and it helps the students develop a sense of belonging that they really belong at UAPB. This lab attracts uh, lots of students uh, from um, even other countries, Nepal, Bangladesh, uh, uh, Guyana. Coming to UAPB as an international student, I'm originally from South America, from Guyana. You know, I remember quite a few of my professors turning up to my door and, and bringing me groceries and coming to check on my family. UAPB plays a very important role uh, in Arkansas agriculture industry. We have lots of uh, extension faculty, uh, work with uh, minority farmers, uh, large farmers, and uh, we conduct workshops and trainings. So we help a lot of farmers through that program. Ultimately, as a result of having clean and quality planting material, the whole idea is to improve your yields and leading up to better incomes for farmers. I'm from Puebla, Mexico. I played a couple of years at a community college in Kansas, and then I decided to transfer here with some of my teammates. I just thought it was a good opportunity, soccer-wise, and also academically, to just pursue my major and keep playing soccer. I tour Spanish and English and a little bit of math, so it helps me think outside the box in how to present stuff. We have a lot of different ethnicities and races. It doesn't matter where you're from, you're going to feel comfortable coming here. Every game, essentially, during that time, growing up, was a special event. Uh, homecoming became even more special because people who had moved away, who had been doing marvelous things, we were motivated by seeing them and talking to those people. If this is what I like, it's going to be like. I had a very good experience with uh, my professors. Yeah, I remember that. I couldn't fail anywhere I go. I come from a long line of, of, of family members who attended the university. My mother and father were graduates. Three of my uncles were graduates, and I have a number of cousins who were also graduates. And my son later on chose to follow me there as well. I'm so proud when I go to graduations. The pride gets larger and larger and larger, and it becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. So when you hear that rite of passage and, and you see those young people and you get excited about going out into the real world, it just grips you by your heart and makes you so proud because it's part of the pride. 
We are family. We are one. We are the golden lions. We are the golden lions. We are the pride. We are the pride. We are the pride. So I just wanted to stop for a moment and introduce myself. I'm Donna Riles. I'm the Director for Recruitment here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. I'm also a graduate of UAPB and most of my family, my two sons and my husband and my, my other immediate family um, have all attended school here. So I can answer any questions you might have. If you have any, feel free to put them in the chat. And so I'm going to give you a little bit of additional information. I'm going to share my screen again. And this time, I'm going to share with you our um, pride book, give you some information about the institution, about the extracurricular activities to be involved in, and um, also um, some information about scholarships and so forth. So give me just one moment while I share that with you. Here we go. Let me take that down and Okay, let me be sure that we can see everything here. No, that's too much. Here we go. All right, let's get started at the beginning. So, become a part of the pride. We are the golden lions. We are the pride. So we're ranked number two in Arkansas for best value schools. We're very proud of that ranking. And here is just a quick welcome from our chancellor, Lawrence Alexander. He is the most tenured uh, chancellor within the U of A system, all the schools in the University of Arkansas system. And he is very dedicated to the success of students. So if you come here, you will more than likely have an opportunity to meet him, but this is your official welcome from our chancellor. Our SGA president is Mr. Leon Jones III. He is a legacy student. I believe his father and grandfather have attended here in addition to many aunts and uncles and cousins. So according to our SGA president, you can learn to navigate the world right here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Additional rankings that we have, number one, best master's degree program in addiction studies. We're the number 11 top school within the region, according to the US News and World Report. We are number 15 best college for veterans. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go through this book. And 33 best HBCU in the country. So what about campus life? I know that's really interesting and I'll let you in on a secret. Well, maybe not a secret, but campus life at an HBCU is fantastic. Now we're all about that rigor and getting that college work done, but there is a lot to be envy about life at an HBCU, your social life. So some of the things that you can look forward to would be the one, more than 100 
clubs and organizations that you can be a part of because all things that you learn during your time at the university won't take place in the classroom. That out of classroom learning is so essential. So there will be professionals who will come in, folks who can mentor you, people with a platform in this world who are famous, who are giving back. They will come as a part of the lecture series and for other events such as homecoming. There are many study abroad opportunities for you if you come to school here. Of course, we host the Divine Nine Greek organizations for males and females. And we also have a few new programs that I'll mention really quickly for this year. We have a Master's of Education for Vocational Rehabilitation and Addiction Studies. The MBA is a new program for us this year, the Master's of Business Administration and the Master of Education in Educational Leadership. So we're constantly expanding what we're offering to students to help make your future bright. We have so many degree programs. We offer the PhD in aquaculture fisheries. We have 10 master's degree programs available for you to study. And there are 40 bachelor's programs. Additionally, we have a military science program. You see that in the red in the middle at the bottom. And a part, as a part of that military science program, they offer scholarships and stipends, military training, and enlistment as an officer once you graduate. That's an offer that's hard to beat. Points of pride. Wow. So as you can see, there are so many things we're proud of at our university. It's just, just a few of them. Uh, our STEM Academy, uh, the number of states represented in our, in our student body, foreign countries, 20 at least, uh, the 100 organizations that I've already mentioned. Look at our student to teacher ratio. Now that's something to be proud of, 14 to one, so that you get that personal attention that you need. More than 40 degree program offerings for under, undergraduate students and our NCAA division one sports teams. So we'll talk a little bit more about these as we go through this as well. One thing I didn't mention a minute ago about our military program is our institution has been honored as a military friendly school. So if you have aspirations for being an officer in the armed forces, this would be a great option for you. So let's look at that STEM Academy. Our STEM Academy offers a six week pre first year summer program where students earn a stipend. So you get a nice little chunk of money for that six week stay. Not only that, but you get a head start on your academic programs, you get acclimated to the campus, and you get a head start of that freshman year. There, it's going to involve team building activities, networking, um, study groups. You'll get to meet professionals within the STEM area. They'll come to the campus and rub shoulders with you and you know, just kind of meet with you and give you the benefit of their expertise in their areas. We also have a Lions program. And this program is designed to assist students who need that little extra touch. It's also a pre-first year summer program. And when you enroll in that program, you can earn up to six credits of English and algebra, and you can attend tutoring sessions um, to give you a head start on your academic work. You can attend college knowledge seminars as a part of it and get to know your cohorts in your freshman year class. Also, you're going to build those relationships that are going to last you all the way through. This is an excellent program to get you started in the summer. Because you know, not everybody peaks in high school, but you can find your people, your tribe once you decide to go to college. And we're, no matter if you are the top of your class or you need that little extra help, we're here for you at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Let's talk about athletics for a moment. So, UAPB is an NCAA Division I athletics program, school. 
We have 14 Division I athletic programs. And for the year 2021, we were the SWAC Western Division champions in both volleyball and football. Not only that, we host the Golf Coach of the Year for SWAC. Mr. Roger Totten. I'm taking up golf myself this year, so I'm really loving that. Let's look at admission requirements. You can see what they are. If you have a 20, I mean a 2.0 GPA or higher, you can be admitted unconditionally. So this year, we are continuing with our policy of text test flexible. Um, and that just means your test score does not affect your admission, but the test scores will be used for placement purposes. So you can apply and be admitted without test scores, but you will need to do it in order, you know, somewhere down the road. You can do it once you're enrolled. You can do it before. Um, and those scores will only be used for placement in, in courses. You can see there are some important numbers here. Um, we would love for you to call us if you have any questions. And you can see the numbers are here for housing, admissions, our Alliance program, the recruitment office, which is us, a band, cheer, choir, so many things are available to you uh, here at the university. So let's take a look at these scholarships right quick. As you can see here, this is just a small example of the scholarships we have to offer. We gave away more scholarships than ever this year. Well, I shouldn't say we gave them away. Students earned them. You can earn a scholarship here as well. So you can see the variety of scholarships we have available based on your academic um, record in high school. So our Golden Lion Scholarship, if you have a 17 ACT or SAT equivalent, a 2.75 GPA, you can earn that Golden Lion Scholarship for four years for $4,000, which would be $1,000 a year, all the way up to our Chancellor Scholarship for your award at $66,000. For that one, you would need to have a minimum of a 3.75 GPA with a 28 ACT or the composite SAT of a 1310. We do offer scholarships to neighboring states, and you can see there uh, to your left of the page what some of the criteria is. If you live in a neighboring state to Arkansas, we would love for you to contact us and find out if you're eligible for those neighboring scholarships as well. You can see our deadline. What I would say to you about that is apply early and get your scholarship. If for some reason, you are unable to do it prior to the deadlines that you see right there, I would suggest that you contact us anyway. Sometimes there's additional money available and rather than sit on it, we'd love to give it away. So don't let that deter you from applying. So there are many ways for you to remain in touch with us. We have um, social media accounts. And also you can reach us at recruitment at uapb.edu, our email address. But you can reach us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on our webpage at www.uapb.edu. So thank you for taking a look at our pride guide. We're so proud of everything we have to offer here at the university. So I'm gonna continue sharing my screen. Um, and this time I'm gonna show you a video which is, um, it is a virtual tour of the campus. Just a bit of a drone tour. You get to hear the band in the background. We're so proud of our band, the marching musical machine of the Mid-South. Did I tell you that our band won the 
Aretha Franklin, Battle of the Bands, Tribute. Out of all the bands in the country, our band won. So it's such an awesome band. M4, the marching musical machine of the Mid-South. You're gonna hear them in the background of this video. So enjoy this virtual tour. And put any questions you have for me in the chat. I'd love to hear from you. Let's get rid of this commercial. And there we are. Enjoy.
Able to figure that one out. So, right here, Nicole mm -hmm. underscore honey, whatever. So, all you do is like shift and add. Yeah. And try to tap in there. Yeah, there you go. That goes right in. Okay. It's fine. 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 It
be a private message just to just display like that. So I have a plot, so what are the next steps? Yeah. I mean, it depends on what she said. Tell her to contact the admissions office. Admissions at UAPD.edu. It's an S on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I see here? I see. Wonderful. Okay. I'm over here just talking away like I'm on mute or something. But um, fantastic. We got a chance to take a look at that. Let me um, stop sharing here for a moment. <laughs> Thank you all for being patient with me. I'm trying to work this out on my own and I'm learning as I go. So. I really appreciate you for being patient with me here. There we go. See every single house facing money. Okay. Here's our stop share. And I'm back up again. So we got a little bit of a look at the campus. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. We love our little campus. Uh, we have about 2,800 students currently enrolled. So that 14 to one um, student to teacher ratio, you see that's where it comes in because we're a relatively small institution, but with a lot to offer. So how about I give you a little bit of a look at student life just some photos that I want to share with you. Um, if you give me just a moment, I'm going to share my screen again. And it'll give you an idea of the kind of activities that students engage in on our campus. Uh, some of the things that you can expect at an HBCU, football games, homecoming, student government, the royal court, um, the band, athletics. So just take a look. And it'll give you an idea. It's kind of like scrolling through Instagram, UAPB style. So give me just a moment to share and take a look at this um, little slideshow. Um, let's see. Let me start it here from the beginning. Okay. So, you can see you came to our campus. One of the most sought after, well, the most sought after uh, motivational speaker in the world, Eric Thomas, came to our campus. He was so awesome, had a lot of great things to offer students. Uh, so, we were so engaged with him and his presentation. He left a lot of nuggets. These are the kinds of things you can expect at our institution as a part of your learning. Anna Navarro came as a part of our Student Involvement and Leadership Program. She brought some great nuggets also to the campus. Terry McMillan, I'm sure you're all familiar with her, author, Terry McMillan. She came, previewed a book, and gave a lecture and talked about what it means to go after your dreams and reach them. Such a great presentation. April Ryan, so I'm sure you're familiar with who she is uh, as a journalist. Uh, do you remember seeing her at the White House, especially during the Trump administration and what poise and uh, how she handled herself with such grace during that time uh, when she was a part of the press corps at the White House. She came and spoke with us. Uh, boy, was that a great, great presentation. Keisha Knight Pullian, of course, you remember her from the Fresh, Fresh Prince. 
Uh, no, that is not Keisha. <laughs> Keisha Knight Poyum was on the Cosby Show, wasn't she? But this beautiful lady came and gave a fantastic presentation as well. And she's from the Fresh, Fresh Prince. Loretta Lynch. So as a part of our nation's govern, governing body, um, she has left quite a legacy. And she came to our institution to share with us her experiences and to motivate students to make a difference in the lives of others in this country. Judge Faith Jenkins, I mean, you know, she's to me, she's quite a mixed bag. Um, brilliant, beautiful, intelligent, but with a little edge, you know, that show she's got, it's a little bit edgy, right? <laughs> so don't bind up in her court, right? Ha, our forever First Lady Michelle Obama came for graduation a few years back and was the commencement speaker. She did engage with students. Did I say she engaged with students? Well, and you have a smile like that too. If the First Lady of the United States of America who happened to look like us was at your graduation and put our arms around you. Ah, what a perfect, perfect graduation that was. And our royal court. So we have a Mr. UAPB, we have a Miss UAPB, and all of the other classes are represented. Senior, junior, sophomore, freshman, and many of the organizations and clubs on campus also have representation in our student involvement and leadership royal court. So it's at homecoming every year. We crown our campus queen and king, and have just a wonderful time uh, with alumni who come back and the student body, which is current. Don't they look fantastic? Come on. And here is a glimpse at the Student Government Association. So we have our student, student body president and vice and all of the other offices that are involved in governing uh, the student population here on the campus. Those smiles are real. <laughs> the experiences that they earn are real as part of being um, involved in the SGA. They receive scholarships, not to mention all of the experiences that they gain in leadership and, and involvement. So that's just a quick blooper at what you can expect if you join us here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. And I know you will. If you have any questions, please just put them in the chat. I'm trying to get to them when I'm showing the videos. And so in a moment, I'm gonna go back to one of our videos that I think you will enjoy taking a look at if you didn't catch it um, at the first of the hour. I'm gonna show it to you again. So right now, what I'm going to do is stop share. And I'm going to go back and get this video for you so we can show it once again. This is our We Are the Pride video. It gives you a look at all of the programs here at the university. Also, it gives us an opportunity to talk with you about what's special about the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Okay, give me just a moment and I'm gonna sh share my screen again. Okay. <laughs> this is where I want to be. And I'm going to share. Thank you. 
The first aim of a good college is not to teach books, but the meaning and purpose of life. Hard study and the learning of books are only a means to this end. We develop power, courage, and determination, and we go out to achieve truth, wisdom, and justice. If we do not come to this, the cost of school is wasted. Since 1873, the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff has been shaping the minds that continue to reshape the world. We are a family of educators and learners, and our tightly knit community fosters the intellectual and social development of a diverse student body, preparing them to be competitive in a global economy. UAPB is innovative and relevant. We are business titans, community leaders, life-saving physicians, groundbreaking scientists, record-breaking athletes, and visionary CEOs. We are dynamic, creative, and cutting edge. We are the pride. We're a united front. We're the golden lion nation. If one person does something, we're all behind that one person. If one person falls, we're gonna pick that person up. We are a university that's been present in the community in this area for more than 143 years. I think what finally sold me was um, seeing graduates who are now doctors. University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, formerly m and College, has a tremendous history of people who have achieved great things. A lot of people don't realize that we have some incredible scientists to come to the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. And one of the greatest chemists, Samuel Massey, who's involved in the Manhattan Project. There also was Samuel Coons who was a biology major that went on to develop the research that led to transplantation of kidneys. You know, usually the videos, you always wonder, do these people really go to the school? Is this like a fake recruitment video? And then as we started walking, um, one of the recruiters, he literally knew everyone's name. He'll stop and be like, oh, this is so-and-so, a biology major. This is like a family, like for you to know a student, like several students, not just one, but several. And it kept occurring. That really like, Made me appreciate I'm not a number at the school, I'm somebody that matters. When you think about the world in general, everything is either grown or manufactured. What our jobs really do is they fit into any type of industry that you would think of. So it's one of the most diversified degrees that you would have on the campus. We had 100% placement of all our students in their field. And I think that's very important that people understand that when they get employed out of this major, they're going into their actual field of study. For me, I knew I wanted to go into engineering. I knew that I wanted to build something, but I later found out that I couldn't just go out and just build something. Career readiness is, is a hot topic. The first year, that they're on the campus, the decisions that they make uh, can have an impact on their career decisions as well as their academics. The problem with graduation is I'm not going to have zero offers and I'm going to have too many. I'm going to have to pick and choose where I want to go, which one's going to suit me and the type of location I want to be in. The Office of Career Services is the most important office on this campus. At our most recent career fair, we had 181 representatives from business, government, school districts, and professional schools. At University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, we have a great immersive 3D laboratory called the Lion K. Uh, in the Lion K, we do visualization research. Um, we work with students who are STEM majors who are interested in engineering. We also do outreach to K-12 teachers and completely research on how students learn as well as how teachers teach. We are a part of this community. We're doing more than just educating on the campus, but our outreach is reaching people throughout the Arkansas Delta and across the state of Arkansas. UAPB has one of the top aquaculture and fisheries programs in the United States. Uh, it's partly because this is an excellent place to address research needs of the commercial aquaculture industry. These purposes are the systems so well known in the world actually. Um, back from when I was in India, um, I already knew about this research. About 10 years ago or so, we started getting a lot of competitions from foreign imports. I choose aquaculture because the place where I grew, um, it's a well-known for aquaculture production in India. And if you're 
not raising a high value species, it's very hard to maintain the competitive edge. It's hard to make a profit, but what we can compete on is technology and information transmission. So a lot of people come here from other countries just to learn more about the technology. I decided to choose the university where I can work and matches my interests. So I choose the UAPB with the best uh, schools offering architecture in the United States. We need to get the word out more. We need to spread the word of the facilities that we have here, the research, researchers that we have here. And um, at least 50% of our faculty have international experience as well. So, you know, we're poised to make a big impact locally, nationally, and also internationally. Any career that a person chooses, it should like reflect them and who they are as a person. With nursing, you can choose so many different career paths. If you're interested in children, you can be a pediatrics nurse, or if you're interested in the elderly, you can be a geriatrics nurse. Well, when I came here for the tour of UAPB, they were telling me about a Lions program that you can do in the summer. The Lions program is a five week residential program for new freshmen, new first-time full-time freshmen coming to UAPB. At the end of the five weeks, those students have now made a successful residential experience at UAPB. The Lions students are graduating both in five years and in six years at almost twice the rate of the students who do not participate. It was really fun, but on top of that, uh, we did have to go to class, so they were very focused on keeping your self on the right path and just remaining focused on what you're here to do. The Student Success Center was created to provide students um, a place to go as a one-stop shop for assistance in tutoring, um, assistance with financial balances, book scholarships. We also do the retention within the Student Success Center. Many students are not quite sure where they need to get help from, and if they know that the Student Success Center is there, and the programs that are provided by the Student Success Center, they know they can go there. And it helps the students develop a sense of belonging, that they really belong at UAPB. This lab attracts uh, lots of students uh, from uh, even other countries, Nepal, Bangladesh, uh, Guyana, Coming to UAPB as an international student, I'm originally from South America, from Guyana. You know, I remember quite a few of my professors turning up to my door and, and bringing me groceries and coming to check on my family. UAPB plays a very important role uh, in Arkansas agriculture industry. We have lots of uh, extension faculty, uh, work with uh, minority farmers, uh, large farmers, and uh, we conduct workshops and trainings. So we help a lot of farmers through that program. Ultimately, as a result of having clean and quality planting material, the whole idea is to improve the areas and leave enough to better incomes for farmers. I'm from Puebla, Mexico. I played a couple of years at a community college in Kansas, and then I decided to transfer here with some of my teammates. I just thought it was a good opportunity soccer-wise and also academically to just pursue my major and keep playing soccer. I tutor Spanish and English and a little bit of math, so it helps me think outside the box in how to present stuff. We have a lot of different ethnicities and races. It doesn't matter where you're from, you're going to feel comfortable coming here. Every game, essentially, during that time, growing up, was a special game. Uh, homecoming became even more special because people who had moved away had been doing marvelous things. We were motivated by seeing them and talking to those people. If this is what our life is going to be like. I had a very good experience with uh, my professors. Yeah, I knew that I, I couldn't stay a little where I go. I come from a long line of, of family members who attended the university. My mother and father were graduates. Three of my uncles were graduates, and I have a number of cousins who are also graduates. And my son later on chose to follow me there as well. I'm so proud when I go to graduations. The pride gets larger and larger and larger, and it becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. So when you hear that rite of passage and, and you see those young people and you get excited about going out into the real world, it just grips you by your heart and makes you so proud. Part of the pride.
We are family. We are one. We are the golden lion. We are the golden lion. We are the pride. We are the pride. We are the pride. We are the pride. I love that video. There's just so much information there. And you can see our pride and the people who are part of that video. So I've answered a few questions in the chat. And I'm also going to now go through our little pride book again. So I'm going to share one more time. This time I'm going to talk through it. Um, and just continue to put those questions or comments that you have in the chat for me. I'd love to answer them as we go through. So we still have a little time left. So let me give you some more information about UAPB. I'm going to share. I'll keep talking while I'm doing that. Hmm. Well, let me see. This is where we want to go back to. I think I may have missed getting a visual on this the last time. And I want to make sure that we don't do that this time. Um, give me just a moment. Um, let's see, I'm going to share. And can you see um, somebody? Let me know in the chat if you can see or uh, become a part of the Pride book. Can you see it? Can somebody give me uh, a little comment to let me know if you can see it in the chat? Um, it looks like it's not showing. Anybody, can you see, become a part of the Pride, our little booklet? Are you able to see it? Let's see if that's it. I don't think that's it. So this is something else. Let me just show this for you. Um, Sure that I am sharing. I see your screen. Okay, thank you. All right, become a part of the pride. So let me tell you who I am again. I'm Donna Riles. And I'm director for recruitment at the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Uh, we're very proud that our school has been ranked number two best value in Arkansas for higher education. Oh, don't see the booklet. Come on, let me see. Let me try this again. Give me just a second. Um, let's see, it's saying that I'm sharing my screen, but I must not be sharing the right. Piece. So here we go. Let's try that again. We got it this time. Do we see it? Somebody give me a heads up in the chat. We still cannot see the booklet. Wow. Okay. So I'll just let that go then. And I'm going to show you um, something that I think you'll be really interested in. Um, let's see, let's see if you can do, if we can do this. I'll tell you what, this business right here is for someone a little bit more talented than me when it comes to, um, technology. <laughs> so I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to come out of this one and Try and share it here.
Oh, you can see it the last time. What did I do? Okay. Let's try that. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we have on screen here. All right. I think we may have it. Okay. Our pride book. Have we got it up this time? Eye opener. Do we have a pride book on the screen for share? Ms. G, can you see, become a part of the pride, our pride book? Yes, great. Okay. So as I was saying, our institution is ranked number two, best value in Arkansas. We're so proud of the advancements that we've made in the last couple of years in, in getting the word out about what a great institution we are. So let me give you a little bit of a peek. Of course, right up, we've got the welcome from our chancellor, Dr. Lawrence B. Alexander. He is the most tenured chancellor in the U of A system, the University of Arkansas system of all of the colleges. Our chancellor has the most valuable experience. He's been with us the longest and he has such a commitment to students and their success at our institution. So this is his welcome. When you have an opportunity, I'd love for you to look at it a little bit closer because when you come to the campus, he, of course, is at the top of the line of people who want to see you succeed, and he is accessible to students and parents. This is our SGA president, Mr. Leon Jones III. He is our current SGA president. He is a legacy student. His mom, his dad, his grandfather have all attended the institution. And now he is carrying on that legacy, no less as the SGA president. And what he is saying to students is that at UAPB, you can learn how to navigate the world. Anything you want to do, anywhere you want to go, you can start that process right here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. And for sure, he's doing just that. Some other things that we're very proud of, we have the number one best master's program and addiction studies. We also are ranked number 11 among top public schools in the region. We are ranked number 15 best colleges for veterans. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we go through this booklet. And the number 33 best HBCU in the country. That's us, baby. And that's according to US News and World Report. Check us out. Huh? So let's take a look at campus life. Yeah, I love the campus life at an HBCU, especially UAPB. There's so much that you're gonna learn in the classroom. We don't cut it um, short when it comes to academic rigor, but that out of classroom learning is something on an HBCU campus, on our campus, that you can't get everywhere. So there are more than 100 registered student organizations that you can be a part of. If you want to start an organization and it's not already 
uh, implement it, you can do so. You have the opportunity to do something like that and make your mark at the university. There are many study abroad opportunities available to you. We have a national speaker series where you get to meet people who are famous, who are giving back, who come and speak to students and offer their expertise and mentorship. Of course, we have intramural sports. Maybe you don't wanna be a you know, collegiate athlete, but you wanna keep fit and you love sports. Intramural is just the thing for you. Also, we are home to the Divine Nine Greek organizations. So either you wanna be a part or you wanna watch them do what they do, but they bring such a lively and animated um, piece to what the university and an HBCU has to offer. Look at the other side of the page and you'll see the cost for attendance. For undergraduate uh, in-state tuition, you're looking at $171 per credit hour. For out-of-state students, it's going to be a little bit more. And you can see that that uh, is $372 per hour. And then for graduates, you can see that as well. Also, before we turn this page, we have a few new programs just this year that we want to tell you about. We are offering the Masters of Education in Vocational Rehabilitation Addiction Studies, the MBA, which is the Masters of Business Administration, and also the Masters of Education and Educational Leadership. So we're doing everything we can to expand what we can offer students those programs that make a difference to your life once you have left the institution and have gone on to that world of adults, right? Setting you up for success later on. Take a look at our degree program. So many to choose from. We have the PhD in aquaculture fishery. We offer 10 master's degree programs and more than 40 bachelor's programs. I'm sure you see something that fits what you want to do in life in this a list of programs that you can study. Also, the Division of Military Science, they offer students a scholarship, a stipend, military training, and enlistment as an officer upon graduation. You can't beat that, right? We also have an honors program for those of you who come to this institution as high achievers in high school. We can offer you an honors program that offers enrichment, encouragement, and all the things that you need to keep you academically where you came here. Points of pride. Okay. You see this picture? M4, the marching musical machine of the Mid-South. That's our band. We love our band. And this year, our band was honored to, be, to win the All Hail the Queen HBCU Band Tribute. It was hosted by National Ge Geographic. And of all the bands that participated, UAPB came out number one. You got to see this band. Awesome. M4, the marching musical machine of the Mid-South. You can see all the other points of pride for us. Our STEM Academy graduation rate at 90%. Who does that, right? 90%. We are represented in 37 states. Our student enrollment, our students from 37 different states attend school here, 20 different countries. We've already talked about those organizations, more than 100 that you can be a part of. Our student to teacher ratio is 14 to one. We've talked about the degree programs and we offer 14 NCAA division one sports teams. Oh, and back to military science. We are, we have been awarded for the school year 1920 um, 
recognition as a military friendly school. So if you're interested in going into the armed services as an officer, this is where you need to be. So let's go back and talk about the STEM Academy. This is a great opportunity for students. So as a part of the STEM Academy, there's a six week pre first year summer program. You come, you spend your six weeks in the summer with the bridge program, you get acclimated to college, you get involved in team building exercises, professional STEM mentors come and speak with you, you have study groups, um, you get to bond with students of like minds. Uh, there's a monthly stipend involved in the program, in addition to the money that you get just for coming for the six week program. And of course, that 90% graduation rate, that's the seller, right? And a little bit more information about the Lions program. The Lions program provides academic support leading to success for students who may need a little extra encouragement. It's also, um, a pre-first year program. You get to enroll in classes such as English and algebra, give you that leg up for when school starts in the fall, right? And you're also involved in programs such as college knowledge, just so that you can develop those skills you need to navigate all that it takes to be a college student, right? Another look at sports. So let me brag a little bit. UAPB is home to 14 Division I athletic programs. In the year 2021, we were the SWAC Western Division champs in volleyball and in football. Not only that, our institution has hosted, is host to the SWAC Golf Coach of the Year, Roger Totten. And I'm just loving that because I've taken up golf this year, right? So hopefully he can give me some tips. <laughs> Let's take a look at admission requirements really quickly. So if you have a 2.0 GPA, that is what you need for unconditional admission. You can see the requirements for conditional admission right there on the page. And we are test flexible again this year. You know, COVID has thrown us for a loop as well as everyone else. So we want to be as flexible as we can. You see there at the bottom right here, what we mean by te test flexible. And so if you have questions, you can see the numbers on the right side of the page. Uh, admission can answer your questions concerning testing, the admission requirements, conditional full admission. Uh, we have some options for students who may need a little extra additional help for um, getting into the institution. So you can contact any of the numbers that you see on the screen for those questions that you might have. Now let's sit there just for a moment in case you want to take some of those numbers down. Okay, let's look at scholarships. In the middle of the page, in the black, you'll see the requirement for incoming freshman scholarships. These are only the scholarships that come through the recruitment office. There are so many options available to you in terms of scholarships on a college campus in your hometown. Leave no stone unturned when it comes to applying for scholarships. If your parents have a job, find out if they have a scholarship. If you belong to a church, find out if there's a scholarship. If your community is offering one, find out if it will transfer to your school. Our incoming freshman scholarships range from the Golden Lion Scholarship for a four-year period of $4,000, $1,000 each year, all the way to the Chancellor Scholarship, which is a four-year award of $66,000. For that scholarship, you would need a 3.75 GPA and a 28 on the ACT or the equivalent ACT score of a 1310. An essay is required, and you can see that our deadline is November the 1st. 
What I will say about our deadlines is for best results, we want you to apply and get it in. Occasionally, there's additional money that may go unutilized. Uh, so if you miss the date, we don't want you to. I don't suggest that you miss the date. But if you do, apply anyway. Call and ask us about scholarships. We want to hear from you. So don't let the de deadline deter you from your um, dreams of a college education, especially not at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. And you can see the Shelby County waiver. Um, the criteria is on the screen. If you have additional questions, you can call us at 870-575-8960. You can speak with Ms. Andrea Cohen. She is our coordinator for the Shelby County Waiver, and she would love to speak with you about that scholarship. Her name is Andrea Cohen, 575-8960. Just ask for her when someone answers the phone. We'd love for you to keep in touch with us. We have several social media platform accounts. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, at Twitter, and you can reach us at recruitment at uapd.edu. You can find us at www.uapd.edu. We just love to hear from you. Either way you reach out to us. Yes? Wonderful. So I see a few questions in the chat. I'm gonna stop my share. And then I'm going to show you another video. Um, so while the video is playing, I'll go through the chat again and see if there are some questions that I can answer for you while we're looking at the video. I think what we'll do this time is take a look at uh, UAPB in pictures. I think I can find that one this time. Let's see if I can. not and um, what I want to do is just give you an, uh, a look at how engaged on our campus in various activities. And we would love for you to just you know, see what the campus is like. Give me a moment to share. And then I'll find these um, UAPB in pictures for you to, to take a look at. Let me see here. Thank you for being patient with me while I go through this. What we'll do then is go through, um, we're gonna share. The, um, the aerial view, our drone tour of the campus. Give me just a moment and I'm gonna show that to you. Here we go. 
Enjoy the sounds of M4, the marching musical machine of the Mid-South, while you take a look at our beautiful campus.
Thank you for taking a look at that video. All right. So what I'm going to do for the time that we have left, there's not a whole lot of time left. I'm going to just show you some very short videos um, about different programs on the campus, band and athletics. In the meantime, if you have questions, continue to put them in the chat. If you want to apply for admissions, you can do it at www.uapb.edu slash apply. We'd love for you to go ahead and do that online. And um, just contact us for any questions that you might have. If you'd like for us to speak to a group for you, if you're a school uh, professional, a teacher or a guidance counselor, or with Upward Bound or with any other program that has to do with youth, the Boys and Girls Club, we love to engage your students and give them a look at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Um, those of you who are students, we love to engage with you individually. You can call us, come for a tour, schedule the tour and come and visit. We have some high school visit days scheduled. The next one is November 6th. It'll be UAPB versus Grambling. It'll be a great matchup, a great game. We will want you to come out to the campus. We'll give you a tour. Uh, we'll have voucher for you to have food at the uh, stadium at the concession stand because of COVID, we have to be careful, you know. So that's why we're doing it this year. We're providing the vouchers for the concession stand. You get to see not only the competition between the uh, football teams, but you know, it's HBCU band. And so UAPB and Grambling, the halftime show is going to be something to look forward to, right? So we would love to host you on our campus for our visit day on November 6th. And then on April the 1st, 2022, we're already looking towards Lion Fever Day. And that's our premier um, event of the year. Where we have lots and lots and lots, hundreds, thousands of students who come to our campus and experience it um, firsthand. All of our academic programs um, and leadership, they come out to meet with you, to talk with you about what we have to offer in their programs. You get a chance to audition. Uh, perhaps you want to play in the band or you want to speak with someone in athletics. If you want to be a part of our award-winning choir, the Vesper Choir, we travel all over the country. Of course, this was pre-COVID, so hopefully we'll be getting back to it very, very soon. But you can find a video of them on YouTube singing uh, such beautiful, beautiful sound and voices. And so there's scholarship available there as well. If you can sing, Best Choir might be the thing for you. Also, our, our marching musical machine of the Mid-South, our band, our marching band is not the only band on campus. Of course, there's jazz, the jazz ensemble. There's concert band. There's an opportunity for you to be a part of trios. Um, so um, if the band, the marching band is not for you, 
Of course, I don't see why it wouldn't be. But if it's not for you, there are other musical opportunities for you and your instrument. Perhaps you play something that's not, you know, like a violin or something that you can't play in the marching band. <laughs> There's still something available for you in that case as well. So I'm going to just give, um, share my screen again. And this time I'm going to show a few very short videos back to back. Um, just to give you um, a glimpse of what you can expect. One of them is going to be a School of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Human Sciences. We are an 1890 institution. Uh, so USDA has backed quite a few scholarships, the federal government. We have a scholarship that students can earn in agriculture, which is so much more than farming. I really encourage you to take a good look at it. There's agribusiness, agroeconomics, um, there's so much agri-engineering. Uh, there's so much to offer in that area, but you can earn a scholarship upwards of $20,000 a year in agriculture. Don't sleep on it. So that's one of the videos I'm going to show you here in just a moment. And I'm going to come back right before we close out at six o'clock because they're going to push me off here at six o'clock and um, have a few final words to say to you. In the meantime, keep it coming in the chat and I'll do what I can to answer you. If I leave something unanswered today, use that email address. I think I put my information out there as well, but I'll remember to put it in the chat um, again um, to be sure that it's available to you. And don't forget about recruitment at uapd.edu. We'll get those emails and we will answer you. Okay, give me a moment to share. Let me find my, um, here we go. Find what I'm looking for here. And I'm gonna start with math and computer science. Just a quick video. Give me a moment, I gotta stop it because it's going. Getting ahead of my share here. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I promise you I'm going to get better at this. Come back this way. Let's share here. Good grammar and spelling are important, but if you want to write essays that inspire, Messages Come that on. forge brighter connections. And emails that get the job done. Hello, not, everyone. No, not you, not you, not you. Okay, give me just a moment. I am a little bit behind on... There's a delay, so when I think I have it, it's run away from me. Okay, let me try this one more time.
Hello, future Golden Lions. My name is Rashonda Johnson, and I am an instructor in the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science. Our departments are for majors in mathematics, mathematics education, as well as computer science. Our graduates, we are proud to say, have gone on to numerous school districts throughout the United States, numerous colleges and universities to advance their degrees, as well as Fortune 500 companies such as Walmart, Tyson, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin. We are so excited that you are considering UAPB as your college of choice. Even if you choose not to become a math or computer science major, every student here on our campus is required to take a math course. And we as instructors and professors, we make sure that our students have every resource available to them, whether it's tutoring, a quiet study space, or just that extra added attention from their instructor. We want to make sure that your experience on our campus within our department especially is a wonderful experience. We look forward to seeing you. We're excited for you during this time and welcome to the prize. Wow, what a great video, right? So I have another one to show you really quickly. Let me see if I can share this one. Give me just a moment for the lag to catch up. It looks like it's um, taken a few seconds. So you can hear it before you see it. Here we go. Here we go. Hi. Come on in. I've been waiting for you. I'm so glad you're here. I want to share with you a little bit about the School of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Human Science. Come on in. Have a seat. I'm so glad you stopped by to learn about the School of Agriculture, Fisheries, and human sciences here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, an 1890 land grant institution. My name is Dr. Nina Lyon Bennett, and I'm the Assistant Dean for Academics. At UAPB, our mission is to provide a quality education, cutting edge research, outreach, and service to the community. These three areas, teaching, research, and service, they serve as the foundation for everything we do here at UAPB. The education you will receive, it's going to prepare you for a number of career opportunities related to agriculture, food systems, and human development. For example, agriculture engineering, it's concerned with the design, construction, and improvement of farming equipment and, mach and machinery. Agricultural engineers generally specialize in one of five major areas could be farm structures, mechanical power, electrification, soil and water conservation, and food engineering. Agricultural engineers, they solve problems. They're concerned with things like the use of structure and facilities, power, environmental issues, and even the storage and processing of agricultural products. Did you know it's one of the fastest growing fields and the median annual income for agricultural engineers is roughly $80,000 a year. The other areas that you might be interested in include aquaculture and seafood business, biotechnology and genetics, family and consumer sciences, human development and family studies, environmental biology, fishery science, nutrition science, food safety, hospitality and tourism management, marketing, fashion merchandising, natural resources and management, plant and soil science, or even restaurant sales. 
Listen, we offer a number of scholarships to students just like you who demonstrate academic excellence, leadership, citizenship, and professional promise. I really do hope that you will consider attending UAPB and majoring in one of the programs in the School of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Human Science. I promise you, your life will never be the same. Your future begins now with a path so bright, we'll have to wear sunglasses. <laughs> How cute is that, right? <laughs> Wonderful. All right, so our time is almost up. I'm gonna stop my share and just take a moment to thank you for joining me today. Hopefully we'll get a chance to talk with you again as this year progresses. You know, we will be enrolling students in January. Pre-registration will begin long before that. So keep a lookout for us. Uh, go to our website and find out when we begin. Um, if you're interested in coming in January, and then, of course, we're working very, very hard for enrolling students for fall of 2022. If we're going to be in your neck of the woods, come by and visit us. We are doing some in-person uh, visits. Um, so if you're interested in us coming to visit with your students or with you or you want to come visit us, please make contact with us. We'd love to hear from you. We are also engaging in virtual visits. Uh, one thing this pandemic has taught us is that we can reach out to people in a virtual fashion and be, you know, pretty successful with it. So we want to engage you in whatever way is going to be best for you and your students. So let us know. We can do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session and just talk with you or you and your parents or your group of students or we can come and visit in person in many instances, um, and we can engage you on our visit days at our campus or an individual tour. So the options are many, and we would love for you to take us up on some of them. Any of the questions that you have in the chat that I was not able to get to, please don't forget that you can reach out to me by email at recruitment at uapb.edu. You can find us on our social media. We do have someone who monitors our Facebook page and our Instagram and our Twitter accounts. So reach out there as well. Um, let us know what you're interested in. We can provide you with an introduction to people in the department that you're most interested in so that you can get the inside information about programs and scholarships and deadlines and all of the things you need in order to make sure that when it's your time to come to college at the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, you're prepared. Yes? Wonderful. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Pride. I'm going to share one last time and give you a look at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Hopefully, I can get it up before I last. Oh, no, I can't. It is 5.59. <laughs> Your last look is going to be at my mug. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We'd love to engage with you again. Welcome to the Pride. Welcome to the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. We're the golden lane. Don't forget us. Have a great evening.